I just wanted to welcome everyone to Alyssa's senior recital. Uh, she's been practicing for this for about 18 years. <laughs> She'll get it right. Just relax. Just wanted to give her a, a words of wisdom. But, no, uh, there's no grades. <laughs> you know, you do a good job. Um, yeah, Alyssa started playing piano uh, around four, uh, and it's been a long time uh, hearing the same songs over and over again at home. Um, she also started singing uh, around one, and um, she'll be doing both tonight. She also plays the clarinet, as most of you know, um, but won't be playing that here today. Uh, just to show how multi-talented she is, we're thankful for everything. Um, we just uh, wanted to open in a word of prayer, and we're going to have um, Alyssa's uncle, Eddie, Eddie Tarnabisky, start us in that. Thank you. I think it was pretty cool that um, Sophia came up and played, because I was trying to I was thinking about the pleasure and honor I've had of watching Alyssa grow up. Um, and I thought, for some of you people who haven't had that pleasure, I was thinking just how similar Sophia is. And now you got to see her playing. And I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, let's open in prayer, shall we? Lord, we just thank you for all these folks making the uh, time to come out today. We know that they could have been uh, many other places, but we just thank you for the friendship uh, that they've developed with Alyssa, Alyssa's family. We just pray, Lord, that you be with her as she uh, plays and sings, that you keep her calm, give her clarity of thought as she performs, Lord. We also pray that uh, as she's just graduated, as she's doing the senior recital, Lord, we know that uh, she's uh, going away to school. Uh, we know that there will be some separation anxiety between her, sister, brother, mom and dad, probably more mom than Alyssa. But we just pray that you uh, keep her a good example down at Liberty, Lord. We just pray that uh, she continued to just be the wonderful young lady that she is, to be a great example, and she just uh, will do, uh, continue to do great things and uh, honor your name, Lord. And again, we just pray for her as she uh, performs for us today. Just pray again that uh, you keep her calm, let her remember everything that she's practiced so hard. And uh, we pray all this in your son's name. Amen. Alyssa just wanted me to remind everybody if you could turn your um, cell phones on to silence and uh, flash photography during the performance isn't, she doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Which in between, fine. Okay. I've never really had a chance to tell 
Alyssa what I think of Alyssa because in the context in which we meet, we're in a lesson, we're, we've got things going on, if we're in a recital, I've got you know 10 other students. So I wanted to take this opportunity to really address this more to Alyssa. <laughs> so, having said that, um, you know, Alyssa, as a teacher, I have a lot of different types of students. You know, you, you get a student who comes in and, um, you know, mom and dad have been musicians and they're taking lessons because mom and dad must have surely passed on that gene and so they're you know, taking lessons to work. I get someone who, they really want to take lessons, but they're there at lessons, but once they leave, for some reason, it doesn't carry along with them. And of course, and you know people like this too, who come and they think they're going to be the next American Idol or voice, you know, winner of the voice. But every once in a while I get a student who is the one by, which, by whom all others are measured. And for me, that's you. Um, um, being a vocalist, I don't know if any of you have, you know, taken voice lessons, but it's a very personal thing. You really have to open yourself up for constructive criticism because you are that instrument. What you're doing with your body is that instrument. And it takes a lot of trust. It takes a lot of being able to have somebody tell you you're, you're doing this wrong, you need to change this. And you've always left forward with trust. You trusted me when I, you know, funny things, you know, laying on the floor to learn how to breathe right, plugging your nose to learn your chest, but all of those funky things that we did, you just left right in there. And um, the thing that I think is admirable is that you didn't just confine it to that lesson. You always took it and you always applied it and you kept practicing it. And I can tell she practiced because when she came to lessons, she's my one student who has never been unprepared for a lesson. She's always been prepared. So I just want to say, I think all of those things are great traits for a vocalist, but even more so, I think they're a great reflection of who you are as a person. And because of that, I just am so excited for what your future is going to hold. I'm excited that I've been able to be a part of where you've been, and um, I just wanted to say thank you for letting me be part of it. Thank you.
So now, um, I just want to take a moment to say something before the next piece. Um, the next couple pieces I'm going to be playing and singing are more for like show tunes kind of things. And they were just a lot of fun to really learn to um, both play and sing them. And I'm just really excited to perform them. So um, I hope you enjoy them as much as I did learning them.
well. And I just really like the arrangement of the piece. And then the next piece I'm playing is, um, I actually played for my auditions at Liberty. Um, it's uh, Sonata Pathetique, um, the third movement.
Um, the next few pieces I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be um, singing one of um, the French pieces that I learned with Mrs. Schrader that I actually sang for a voice recital, I think, last spring. And, and um, after that, I'm going to be playing um, a Debussy piece, uh, Dr. Gratis at the Pronosum. Um, which is just like a really fun piece to play. Um, it's just got so many technical things about it that um, I just really enjoyed about it. And then the last piece I will be doing is um, a Brahms Rhapsody, which um, I also did for my auditions. And it's just a really big, fun piece to play. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank mm -hmm. you.
I really don't know what I'm going to say right now. Alyssa just this morning went up to me and was like, you want to speak before the duet? And I was like, sure. <laughs> so, um, I'm kind of winging it right now. Um, what you're about to hear is a duet that Alyssa and I have been working on for quite some time now. Um, I've performed this duet so many times already. Um, uh, at one point, we, we realized two of our friends at school were playing the same duet, and we ended up doing it as a quartet using two pianos. That was a lot of fun, but we're just going to play a duet today. Um, so to close out the scene and recital, we're going to be performing Chopsticks Variations. Right. Um. 